Hello everyone and welcome to Southern Soul Tarot. I'm going to be doing a requested reading today for Brian Laundry. Um, I did do Gabby Petito's reading. If you're interested in that, I will link it to the top. And um, but we're going to go ahead and be doing this reading on him. He has been missing for about a week yesterday. And so we're going to go ahead and see what we can get. So we're going to move these decks to the side. I'm going to use uh, two waters that will help break negative energy and anything that's being hidden. So we're going to go ahead and put that down to release some more information and protect the reading. <clears throat> All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and start shuffling the cards. We're gonna ask for Brian Laundry's spirit guides to come in with his ancestors, archangels, and source, and then also come along with my ancestors, archangels, and source, that we can get a little bit of more information about where he is and so we can find out what we need to know about what's going on with him. All right, so we're gonna lay down the basic past, present, future energies and then build off of those and see what we get. So what is the uh, recent past leading up to your, this, uh, to your disappearance basically last week whenever you were being held to kind of find out held within your home to find out about what kind of happened with Gabby so let's see what is the recent past leading up to your recent disappearance Brian what are you trying to hide that you're running for besides the fact that you murdered Gabby what else do you not want people to find out what's going on with the recent past All right, so you have the King of Cups come out. The King of Cups is going to be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. So in the recent past, he did have this card come out. In the last reading for Gabby, he did present himself as the King of Cups. From what I understand, he is a water sign. Um, so we will see what else we get with that. So he is kind of showing up for his energy currently at the moment. It is showing within his relationship. He did play the good guy on the outside. So that is what he the is coming out for him. And the present energy, what do we need to know about the present energy and where you are, Brian? What do you expect to happen where you are presently? So he has the Ten of Wands. Uh, fire Energy Aries Leo Sagittarius is the Ten of Wands. So right now he is running because of the burden that he has created on himself, his actions, his behavior, everything that he has created. There is more than one thing that he is running from. So it's going to be interesting to see what else comes out with that. But there is more than one thing that he has created within his realm that he physically did and brought in on himself that he is trying to lay down. So eventually he is going to try to flip it this way. So that is why he ran, but he still has created more of a burden for himself because obviously you don't run. So in the near future, let's go ahead and see. Hereford is in reverse, so therefore source is not on his side. So he does not have anything on his side in this point. So we'll go ahead and kind of build off of that again. Why is the King of Cups here for the recent past? What do we need to know? Can you please show me why the King of Cups is here for the recent past and what do we need to know? Why do you present yourself as the King of Cups? Is there anything you can tell us else about the past leading up to the disappearance? Because you knew Gabby's body was going to be found. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles. So he does not have a happy home. Everything that he presents in the earthly realm is not as it seems. His money is not good. His um, I don't think his mental health is good. And a couple other things where he could probably go get help for these things. He's choosing not to. And I think, again, because this is leading into your home life. So his parents or whoever is in that home or whoever kind of lets him get away with the stuff he gets away with. They've been letting him do this for a long time. So he's been pretending like this, and so is his family, but this is what's really going on the whole time. So in the home life, it's completely flipped upside down. It's not happy. So why is the Ten of Pentacles here for the home life and everything that was going on before? So you had no happiness within your home, but you were presenting it as if you did. So you were verbally abusive to Gabby, and then you became physically abusive, and then you murdered her. So let's find out. What else is going on? The Two of Cups. So he had no happiness in his relationship either. So not only did he have no happiness in his uh, earthly realm, and he lies and presents as if everything's okay, but it's not. Um, he's not happy. He wasn't happy in the relationship. So he was kind of just, he's a pretender is what it is. He was pretending to be this great boyfriend. And he knew that everybody loved Gabby and her personality and all that stuff. And she was very sweet. So he was using her energy to make his energy not seem so gross basically why is the ten of wands here 
because of the Knight of Swords in reverse. So he is taking this information now in reverse. They are aggressive. Uh, it's it's going to be their dark sided energy. So this is legal information to me. Swords can represent legal stuff, information, all that stuff that he's running from right now. So he's taking that information. So with the sword, it's like harshly cutting at the situation. So he's running with all the information so that he doesn't have to relay what exactly happened because he knows he's not going to, I mean, he, we already know he's not a good person from what he did, but he doesn't have a, you know, whenever he, he doesn't have a good story for what happened. And that's, you know, why the main reason he's running, he doesn't, there's no good reason to do what he did. So he's not going to answer to it. So with the Ten of Wands, why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? What do we need to know about your energy in reverse? You did run with the information. And you're running from the from the police and the FBI. What else do we need to know about that present energy? Yeah, Ace of Wands is out. So yeah, he did make a movement. He did run. We know that. So this is a big movement card. Fire um, energy. Can't, uh, or sorry, Leo's score. Um, sorry. Leo's, Sagittarius's, and I can't think of the other one right now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go on, though, to the Hereford. Aries, I'm sorry. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So um, that is a big movement, though. It's fire energy. So it is moving forward, and we do know that's what he's done. So he's made an even bigger movement since he ran off. So Hierophant's in reverse. He's watching the situation. He does not approve of it. So let's go ahead and see what the Hierophant in reverse. Why is the Hierophant in reverse? What do we need to know about the Hierophant? Why is he here and why is he in reverse? Because he's not going to have a brand new start that he's trying to create with this Ace of Wands. So the um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is Aries in reverse. So it's going to be making um, a foolish decision, an impulsive decision. Like in this one, they're on the cliff. They're trying to do this new path. They're carefree. In reverse, it's like jumping off the cliff carelessly and not paying attention to what's going on which is also interesting because they were on a lot of uh, by a lot of mountains and stuff when this happened um so it does relate to that in that sense for me so it is showing that his movement was careless impulsive and not thought out whatsoever and that it's not going to go the way that he expected it to go with the ace of wands so why is the fool here in the near future what do we need to know about that card and why it's here sorry all right, so the Four of Swords. So he will be coming out of resting. So he will be found by the law enforcement because, again, the swords represent law enforcement, legal action to me. So, um, and then you do have the Queen of Wands on the bottom. So there might be a, um, a female energy, a womanly energy that's kind of pushing this investigation. It does feel a little bit like it's going to be female energy also from her side pushing it and making sure something happens again that um Aries Leo Sagittarius energy because that is what the fire energy is so um but with the four of swords it is being brought out of something so this is when he would be hiding out for me so it, again it might be three to four I feel like months maybe weeks um but I'm you know don't want to put a time frame on when he will be found so let's go ahead and use the other deck and kind of get clarification for this one and again, I want to thank y'all for the request. And if y'all have any questions, y'all can leave it in the comment section. And I will get to it as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Page of Cups is in reverse. So again, that is going to be, to my understanding, they were both water signs. So that is just flipped over in the deck randomly. So I did like to point that out. Um, it is showing both of their energy and carrying it. So let's go ahead and see what the can cups. So what do we know about need to know about the can cups and why is he here? For the recent past, leading up to your disappearance, which is your energy that you would pretend to be emotionally stable and sweet and all of those things that you were not. Yeah, two of swords again. So um with the two of swords, you're going to have the king of cups. So the king of cups, he had he would act one way and kind of give information another so it was it was choosing between two things so again his information the way he spoke the way he presented himself was quite different so what people saw is not always what they got with the two of swords so with the ten of pentacles in reverse why is the ten of pentacles in reverse for the unhappy home that you created and that you lived in and that you kept gabby in Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? 
because of the King of Wands. So yeah, he was aggressive. Um, in reverse, they're super aggressive, the King of Wands. Uh, they like to fight, they like to argue, and they can be physical and verbal at the same time. So they're going to be the more um, kind of in-your-face signs whenever they're upset. So let's, and that's just validating that the happy home was that way because of his behavior and the way that he would just impulsively react and yell and be physical with people. I don't think it's just Gabby that he gets that way with. I feel like he's like that with people in his home too. So with the two of cups, why is the two of cups here in reverse for leading up to your disappearance that you created? The Four of Cups. So, yeah, he wanted to get away. The Four of Cups is, is kind of like an envious card, uh, envy card in the sense that you're looking at something else and wanting to wanting that. So, with everything that happened, again, I do feel like he's, this isn't like the only person that he's done this to with Gabby's energy. Um, I don't know if there'd be two more people involved in this situation, but um, with the Four of Cups, and I say that because there's usually three cups sitting behind the person and one cup is extended and that's the cup they're looking at like they want it but they can't have it but they already have cups so again they're envious of what other people have but they don't look at what they have so that's his energy so um that's why he dumped it out he was always wanting something else and not looking at what the relationship he did have with gabby and that it was good and she did care for him and all that stuff and so he was always wanting something he didn't have so why is the Ten of Wands here? And in this case, I do think it was, you know, freedom from everything else that he left behind. The three cups he left behind that he destroyed. He was looking at the next cup to move forward as a chance of freedom. <clears throat> why is the Ten of Wands here for the present energy and your disappearance? Justice. He is scared of justice closing in on him, which it will. It is upright, so I'm not too concerned about that but that is exactly why he ran though and that's so that's the main reason that's all so basically again very coward a uh, very much a coward because he created the situation and he's running from it because he doesn't want to answer for it and he is scared that he will have to be held responsible for his actions which everybody should be held responsible for their actions so with the knight of swords why is the knight of swords here what do we need to know the Ace of Wands is in reverse. So he felt like he had no more movement here. So he made movement happen here. So all this stuff was going to close in on him and collapse. So he used the uh, Knight of Swords, took the information with him so that there could be no big movement in this situation. Even though there still was, her body was found. That was his opportunity. He felt to go ahead and move and get away from the situation. But again, I don't think it's going to last for a very long time. It, I would be surprised if this goes on for a very, very long time. Um, with the Ace of Wands here, why is the Ace of Wands here and what do we need to know? All right, so the Knight of Rings is here in reverse. So the Knight of Rings in reverse is going to be trying to distort the earthly realm so that things cannot be discovered or found. Um, it's also being very careless and lazy in the earthly realm. So uh, with that, I would say the movement forward was to hide the information the pinnacles that they are trying to get a hold of so that they could prosecute him for her murder. Um, he is nine of cups in this energy. So he's very grimy in that sense. Uh, he's celebrating the fact that he has gotten away. And I think his family is too. So that's disgusting even more because that carries a bit of a family energy for me a little bit. It is an independent card, but usually you kind of want to celebrate the nine of cups with somebody. So I do think people um, helped him a little bit but I do think again it's he's very full of himself it's like he's celebrating the fact that he got away so let's go ahead and see with the Hierophant or he's got away so far it doesn't mean he's gonna stay not found so with the Hierophant here what do we need to know about the Hierophant why are they here the Knight of Swords so yeah a, a legal like a law enforcement law legal agencies will come in and find him. So with the Knight of Swords, he was trying to escape that energy. Well, it's still going to come in on him because again, the Hierophant's not going to, not going to sit and watch something be unjustified. So he's going to bring justice in with the Knight of Swords. So they will catch him quick and it'll be sharp. So um, let's go ahead and see what the Fool, why is the Fool here in reverse for your path in the near future? So
All right, so now you have the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So um, with the Fool in the near future, I do think with the Ace of Cups, someone will come in and make sure that this future is not going anywhere. And that's why the Fool is in reverse. Because with the Ace of Cups, emotions are being brought in um, that he will have to address or that will have to be addressed in general. But with the Queen of Swords coming in, it will size that energy. So, and again, that is going to be more carrying the legal system a bit for me right now with this reading. And then you have the Four of Swords in reverse. So, let's see what the Four of Swords in reverse, what we need to know about the near future. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse for the near future? Because of the Page of Swords. So it's like he will have to kind of start over in that earthly energy. Someone, again, will keep bringing in information. So we'll kind of see what happens. You have the two of wands in reverse. So again, it is kind of showing with that energy. He did make a movement. He chose between running or not running, and he chose to run. So 